I'm David Aaron, and uh, I am a senior fellow at the RAND Corporation, which is a, a think tank in Washington, uh, one of the very oldest uh, and most independent, I would say. Uh, I have been at RAND for about seven years, where I've been both the director of the uh, Middle East policy program uh, and the uh, advisor to the president on counterterrorism issues. Previous to being at uh, RAND, I was ambassador to the OECD in Paris. I was uh, undersecretary uh, of commerce for international trade. I was uh, the deputy national security advisor to uh, President uh, Carter uh, and a lot of other things. A real effort has to be made to bridge differences politically uh, between various countries. I think one needs an educational program in every country, uh, an international effort, uh, to deal with the ideology that lies behind uh, this terrorism. Well, I think you can only really combat religious-based te terrorism with a better understanding of the religion itself. Uh, there are no, the, the, there are no uh, uh, passages in the, the Bible or the Koran or anything else that compels people, in my judgment at least, uh, to commit acts of violence against uh, people who believe a different religion. I'm, uh, I'm in favor of, unlike some counterterrorism people, I'm in favor of more teaching of the Koran, not less. Yes. Because I think in a proper appreciation of it will completely prepare people to reject these spurious interpretations uh, that have supported violence in various parts of the world. Well, I think it would be uh, useful for there to be some central um, authority, uh, religious authority, uh, dealing with uh, Islam, uh, and for that matter with, with Christians and Jews. Um, because I was shocked to discover in my research that there is no such thing as a central authority in, in Islam. Uh, there are, uh, there is the uh, Ummah, there is the, uh, the, the group uh, that sort of decides what is just and what is not, and, uh, but there, it's always, uh, it's collective and it's not centralized and you can end up with a lot of other different people uh, arguing about it and, and pushing their own line. Um, I think Turkey has a real role to play uh, in, in, in the rebirth of, of Islamic uh, politics, if you will, uh, in, uh, in the Middle East and to some extent in, in Central Asia. Uh, because it has, unlike those countries, uh, strong democratic roots. It has the concept of, uh, of tolerance. I think it, it is in a position to do a lot of things uh, that would help shape uh, a tolerant Islam and one that can reach out to Christians uh, and Jews as well. Some people have visions of the end times that are pretty uh, horrific and apocalyptic, but uh, there is, of course, as you say, uh, a very positive picture that, and, uh, that could emerge from it. Uh, I was all st struck to, dis uh, to discover also in my research that uh, Jesus is uh, supposed to return uh, in the, at the end times. Well, I hope that uh, I hope we're in that transition phase where the violence is mostly behind us and the golden age is ahead of us. Uh, and um, that certainly would be, I think, welcome to to, uh, to everyone. Uh, and I think your point about the importance of the religions understanding one another and understanding what they have in common uh, is 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 fundamental. Uh, and uh, when it comes to violence based on religion, uh, I think it's uh, essential that, that there be more education about the commonalities yeah. uh, so that tolerance is based not only on um, some kind of abstract stricture, but it's based on uh, real understanding of, 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 uh, of the, of the basis, basic values that we share. Uh, and I think the fact that you all are in this, uh, uh, in the process here of trying to uh, to do that, and uh, the Turkish uh, uh, people are trying to find a way to to, uh, 
to uh, to lead that process is a very good one. Uh, can I have your last few words message to the Turkish public? Uh, well, I guess I would simply say uh, I think what's going on there is, is quite fascinating. Uh, I think it's uh, possibly one of the most important things that's going on in the entire world, Islamic world. Uh, and I'm, I'm uh, persuaded uh, that it is a, it is a it is a philosophy and a um, an approach to uh, not only Islam but to democracy and to uh, and to other religions uh, that can only be uh, positive. And I hope that the message that uh, that in effect uh, Turkey uh, represents uh, will be seen and understood by by all faiths and by uh, all of the people who are now emerging under from totalitarianism uh, or authoritarianism uh, in the Middle East. Well, I, I'm delighted that uh, Channel A9 came and uh, spoke to us here, and uh, uh, it's, uh, I would like to learn a good deal more about what your activities are. I, I, I have been to Turkey, both to Ankara and uh, uh, in Istanbul, and um, it's a beautiful country, and uh, I've been to Ephesus, several other places. So, yeah, I really would like to be able to spend some time in Turkey, not just in Istanbul, not just in Ankara, but uh, throughout the country where it's spectacular. Thank you very much. I was very pleased to Thank have you. you. <laughs> Thank you.